Welcome, Gemini, to your sharper reading for June. Hope your friends are doing great out there. Welcome back, all subscribers and new and new to my channel. Welcome, welcome. If your friends like this, please like and subscribe. Okay, friends, let's see what's going on with you. We have the third eye over here talking about what you see in recovery, saying you hold the key. So unlocking whatever piece you have locked up, now you can be able to see the key and use the key. Okay. Where the key is within yourself. Um, the next card out is communication. Ooh, talking about that communication, we're going straight to the throat chakra. So it feels like once you get the key, then you can communicate what it is. Once you know what is hidden, then you can communicate this. So the throat chakra over here is that communication, listening, talking, um, might need to speak something um, and uh, be creative about it as well. It's a piece of creativity. Um, so going straight from the throat, straight to the third eye, or vice versa, um, however it is. But really communicating what it is that you need to unlock over here. And the next card out is the truth. This is the truth coming out. Seeing the truth for what it is with the communication. Maybe you need to communicate the truth, right? Coming underneath this communication. Maybe you, you know, have been holding back, um, Next card out is Danky of Infinite Light. So this card over here is talking about, I'm going to put it right here so you can see it, my friends. It's kind of got a glare, though. Let's see if I can move it over so it doesn't have a glare. There we go. This is talking about, can you see that without glare? There we go. Okay, this card is talking about seek and you shall find. <laughs> Literally, it's almost like you're knocking on the door to find the key to open this door so that you can speak your truth and find the truth, right? Finding the truth of the matter, resolving the, the matter gracefully. This is going to open up a lot of your chakras, right? And that's, I mean, that right there in itself, just the truth through the communication of the, of the throat chakra, through the third eye to the truth is going to open up the crown chakra over here. You are going to be completely aligned. There is a complete alignment over here because it feels like you've worked on so many other areas, Gemini, that this is the piece that you've just been kind of either throwing away the key and not worrying about it, but it always is one of those monkeys on your back and now it's time to figure it out and find that key for greater wisdom and you know greater stability within your life, really getting to that matter. And maybe it's a matter you just didn't wanna open up, right? But this is going to help on your enlightenment. This is going to help bringing the things that you need on your spiritual path over here to grow. Wow, so beautiful. Seeking you shall find. So it's kind of like knock on the door and the door will open. So the next card out, see what the spirit has to say. Within the next few months, you can really work on this within the next few months, really getting this powerful feeling, really working your way up to this palace over here, the palace of truth and recovery and all the things that you need. Um, be the rhinoceros. Be strong and courageous during this journey. It's really opening this up. And next card out is 44. This is a guardian card. This is talking about angels. Anytime we have double numbers, we're talking about angels talking to you. Uh, 444, 44. four. Um, so definitely 44 over here is guardian. Being Saying you are being watched. You are being divinely guided. So don't worry about this. Nothing is going to step into your way. As long as you know you are protected, you are completely protected on this journey of self. It's almost like a self-righteousness, like because it's meant for you. Because it is your truth. And the truth kind of like will set you free type of idea over here. And then you have the two of cups. The two of cups in reverse is talking about, well, this is what's holding you back, Right? This is where you feel like maybe it was a poor choice to not um, open this door. Maybe you feel like you're making poor choices at this time. And this is the door to recovery. That's really what it is, the door to recovery. The truth to recovery. Maybe you feel like someone's making poor choices around you. I mean, this is your energy. So this could be you or a loved one around you making poor choices. Maybe you need to open that door, communicate with them and say, you know what? I know the truth. 
The truth is you're making poor choices, which hurts all of us, right? Your poor choices affects us together. It affects my life. Or maybe it's just you, Jim and I, who are making poor choices and you need to find the recovery to open the door. Take it how it resonates, my friends. Okay, however it is, though, this chakra is really going to really come out and really make a defined difference within your lifestyle. Because it's what it's going to turn this two of cups right side up, which is then going to become healthy relationships if this is a relationship, whether it's with yourself and your higher, yourself and higher self, right? Or if it's with you and a loved one or both. Because no matter what, it's going to still bring you and your higher self back together, right? In this area of your life, okay, reuniting yourself. Um, but yes, it's going to also help the relationship gain healthier communication and healthier balance. Instead of just ignoring the situation, it's like we need to figure this out. This is going to make everything more harmonious within your life one way or another. So it does feel like, you know, their poor choices could have a, a huge impact no matter what, right, on your lifestyle. It always does, especially if you're married or engaged. I mean, this is a card of engagement, so you could be engaged. making all the way around healthy connections, communicating, not holding back your words in order to prevent hurting someone's feelings, fear or rejection, or the possibility of creating some form of conflict. Make sure that you're using your feelings honestly and communicate with those around you, building long lasting, healthy relationships with truthful, rightful communication and thoughtful. Remember thoughtful, right? We wanna make sure that we're using thoughtful Miss. We don't want to just blast people, right? <laughs> That's not going to help the relationship. You want to be very thoughtful about the scenario. And make sure that you're strong and courageous when doing so. The strong and courageousness is going to help you actually open up the, to get the truth out there. And it's also going to make sure that you're using strong, courageous words when doing so, but also making sure that it's very thoughtful. The guardian coming in is going to be telling yourself, your higher self is telling you, it's okay. You're guarded through this time. You will have this happen. And not only this, we are here to make sure that it is compassionate, that it is the way it should be, that it is thoughtful, right? No matter what is going on in your life, you have the angels and the guardian spirits with you. You have an innate ability to connect with spiritual energy that surrounds you. Don't wait to be in the crisis or extreme situation before you connect to your spirit guides. You can ask them for guidance on almost anything. Your angels and guardians are here for you, but they cannot intervene unless you ask for their support and guidance. They cannot interfere with your free will, but when you ask for the support, an outcome is often better than you have ever imagined. So when you want to get ready to get courageous, you might want to ask them, hey, can you help me? Stay calm, stay cool, right? During this truth. Because sometimes when our truth wants to come out, it could come out a little rough, and that's just because that's the real feelings that you're having, right? You're having this real feeling of, I'm had it, I'm done, I'm, you know, you either listen to this or, you know, and you don't want to do that. So you're going to, you know, come together with yourself, with your angels and ask to find that peaceful shift within your energy from that negative feeling to a positive feeling. So that way you guys can reconnect together. And if it's not with another person, you can even do this to yourself so that you're not too harsh on yourself. Don't judge yourself so, so harshly, right? So going over here, this are going to move like this. It's kind of weird because this one's a little big, but definitely these, we're going to go with these three and then these three, and then we will actually do these three. Okay, so we're going to go straight to the truth. Yannicky and the rhinoceros. Figure out what is this truth and what is going on with you, my friends. High Priestess, yeah. Getting straight into your secrets. Opening those doors for yourself. When you get into the High Priestess mode, you're going to be able to recover the door. You're going to be able to open 
that door with that key so that you can get down to where you need to have the success and get to where you need to be. King of Wands. For some of you, it could be another person and it could be an Aquarius that you really want to get truthful with um, and really make them understand your truth because this could also be a person that you believe is Mr. or Mrs. Right, um, but there are unspoken word things that are going on um, and doors are closed to this um, communication of this particular situation. Um, that's usually the case too. So with the magician over here, it's, your, it's you going to get into high priestess mode, speak your truth over here with the um, king of swords, and literally get into the magic that will take place opening that door. I'm really manifesting to open that door within yourself. Over here, going to the Danky, the Guardian, and within the few months. Oh, yeah. It feels like you're, you're just not recognized for something. Um, it does feel like there is some holding back going on. Yeah, you need to let that go. Um, once you've spoken your truth, you can go ahead and let that go, and then it will dissipate, right? You don't want to hold on to that anymore. Um, whatever the situation for you is, once it's spoken, truth comes out, everything's fine, release it. So you can have the transformation on that opens the wheel of fortune. This will make the, the change come around and going through the next few months to the guardian to the two, you will have the victory. Whoa, with the queen of coins coming out. So you will have this nurturing, better feeling and knowing that you're doing things for yourself. Um, and getting back to the prosperity of the relationship, whether it's with yourself or with another person or or both, right? As we said before. Um, and this is going to be the loyalties that are coming out, showing more loyalty within the relationship. Really, the relationship is really going to blossom over here with the Queen of Coins. You see this big, huge turnaround and feeling like you guys are now holding on to... What are you holding on to? <laughs> It's like, what are you holding on to? Please be something good. Holding on to dreams. Yes. Holding on to the goals and the dreams and knowing that you guys are good for each other. And if, like I said, if it's not another person, it's you. You can hold on now to the dreams that you need. Holding that door open. Wow. Getting back to where you feel alive again. Getting back to where you need to be. Now knowing you have another door gone, another karmic chain is gone however it is and feeling whole again and look at all the chakras coming in you're completely aligned with your chakras for this time being within this area of your life really feeling like you're shining like this star feeling very hopeful within this relationship of this piece of the puzzle and knowing how to open a door so that way if the door has to be closed and you need to find it you're like you know what? i already know how to do this so i can do this again so it's a learning process Wow. And look at that. Yes. And it's going to, you're going to have so many new doors opening when you learn to find the keys that you already hold within yourself, my friends. Until next time. Peace and love. Bye-bye.